Welcome back, folks. I'm MTG Joe. We have officially made it to Mythic. Uh, so we played Golos Fires up to Diamond. Then I was getting trucked by all the aggro. Switched to Rakdos uh, Sacrifice that we featured a couple times on stream. That got me to Diamond 1. And then uh, I gave in and I broke code. I played a couple of variations of Broco, uh, Broken Oko. Oko uh, so I tried Manguchi's Bant first. Didn't quite like it as much. Went straight Simic with the four Brazen Borrowers in the main. I uh, really liked that one. That got me over the hump to Mythic. Um, so now that we're here, we can brew a bit. Don't care about dropping as much because we made this uh, threshold. Um, so a lot of people had commented on my budget Demir control list. Wanting to see a non-budget variant of the list. Um, I actually don't think hard control is that unfavored anymore. Um, so I don't think the band's in yet. Also, Field of the, ba the uh, Field of the Dead is banned, um, which is control's worst matchup. Um, so I haven't run into too much. Obviously, this deck is built with the notion that Field of the Dead will be out of the format, just waiting for Arena to actually update. Um, so stuff like uh, Legion's End, we don't need to play really as much now. Uh, we don't need to worry about Ashiok taking up sideboard slots. Um, so this deck here is more counterspell based. Um, we want to be able to control the opponent's board and then play out our threats at flash uh, speed. So I'll do it a little differently in terms of how we go through this. So my counterspell package is one disdainful stroke. Uh, mission briefing is basically a removal spell or a counter spell where need be. Drown in the lock is pretty useful because it's both uh, counter spell and removal and scales well to the late game. I have three mystical disputes. This is to deal with uh, turn two Oko. You can cast it for one mana. Otherwise, it's a mana leak for three. And then I have three sinister sabotage. Um, so I made this change. I had a little bit more uh, removal in the main. Um, I played this instead of the Ops, um, and then I got rid of, forget something else, uh, to play uh, a Lockmere Serpent. So I was one in one off stream with this earlier. Uh, removal wise, we have, like I said, the Drown in the Lock, Tyrant Scorn, early spells, you can get rid of the bird on turn one. Uh, Murderous Rider, three copies to deal with any of the Planeswalkers that resolve. Uh, Brazen Borrower is a tempo play, you could bounce any of the permanents and also get a 3 1 flyer. To uh, trample in or to attack in, and then Ritual of Soot as a sweeper and enter the God Eternals. Uh, rounding up the package, we have Thought Erasure as discard, we have Chemistry's Insight for card draw, and then I have Narset, uh, basically stops Hydroid Crisis from drawing. Uh, it actually came up that it shut off Castle from activating on the opponent's main phase, so they always have to do it on uh, our turn. That kind of slowed him down against an, an Arakdos aggro build. And then I got two Lilianas and one Ugin. These are our primary win conditions, um, but it's not unusual for us to just win with like a Brazen Boar or, or the Enter the God Eternals when we keep the board clean. Mana base has been a little bit work in progress. Um, we have Black Castle, Blue Castle, so draw cards, Scry. Uh, we don't have the Scry land, so I'm playing four Dismal Backwaters. I got a Blast Zone, which I might actually want to go up to two. It was pretty useful in the game that it came up. And then a couple Fabled Passage just to fix our mana. Um, so we'll see what the mana base might want, like a, a Mobilized District or something like that in there as well. Sideboard-wise, we got Aether Gust, Disdainful Stroke, Four Noxious Grasp is pretty much where you want to be on now. An Elder Spell, two Spyglass, two Cries versus the Aggro matchup, and two Unmoored Egos in case we run into like Control Mirrors, Dance of the Mans, kind of specific stuff. Um, so we'll run this through, play a couple games on Mythic, see how it plays out. Uh, where are you? Demir Control. Um, so we'll give it a shot, see how it goes. I actually think Saltai might be the better control option. You just get uh, better, you get like Death Sprout, you can get uh, Casualties of War, you can get Gross Spiral to ramp you ahead, you get four mana Vraska that can deal with the Planeswalkers, like the three mana walkers. So we'll probably explore that too. Assassin's Trophy is very good. So there's a few options um, that we can kind of explore in that sense. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Q's a bit long here. We'll run it up. All right. 
so we are playing number 13. All right. Uh, we'll keep this hand. A little awkward, both our lines come. Hey, Quantum. Going well, going well. How about you? So hopefully draw an untapped source here. Watery Grave would be the best draw because then it would turn on. Okay, so they once. Just give me one sec. Okay, so this can be Golos potentially. Could be Teamer, Agar. So they only have one card, so let's just go Castle here. So Field Ban, it saddens me uh, from an offline player standpoint because that was my deck. But as an online, yeah. So turn two, Oko. So we need to dig here for Murderous Rider. This is the Teamer Super Friends list. Main board, we're going to have a rough time. They're just packing a lot of Planeswalkers. So I'm just going to get rid of the Aboreal Grazer. Uh, yeah, Oko is going to be insanely busted. Like, I won way too many games that I shouldn't have won just because it just demands an answer. Like, this plus twice, and it's already at seven. Now i got to deal with both these. Um, we probably lost this game already. Yeah. So I'm not going to show much more of the deck. Uh, yeah, so there's usually the top 1,200 get to go to the Mythic Invitational, or they get to qualify for the tournament. Um, let me just sideboard and then I'll answer the question fully. Um, so we're bringing in all our removal. Mission briefing can go away. Stroke. Probably still good. Elder spell's fine. Drown in the lock. Tyrant scorn's probably less useful. The mystical dispute's good. This stops their card draw. Can get rid of the rituals. Get rid of the enter the god eternals. Uh, Lockmere Serpent against an Oko deck isn't very good. One more cut. Um, on the draw. We can just go down an insight. Um, I had uh, Mujan Ning. She was okay. Didn't do too much. Um, yeah, so there, how it works is if you're in the top 1200. Uh, you get to enter into a arena tournament, and then if you top 32, you can make it to the Mythic Invitational, which was a tournament that we saw this past weekend that had $750,000 prize pool. So it's usually a, it's usually pretty hard to get to where our opponent's at. Uh, 13, it's a lot of grinding. Okay, so they have the goose. So we could have bounced here, but what I like them doing is spending the mana here because then it sets them back a little. They don't get the uh, the food token. That's fine. Interesting. They shock in. Okay, Elder Spell will be nice to follow up with. Would like to see some lions. We're gonna have to be patient in this matchup. I actually don't mind end step just dropping the Brazen Borrower down to put a clock on the opponent. Um. Oh, 
Let's make him take another turn here. Okay, so that delays it at least a turn. Then we have a hard counter for next turn. Missing line drop hurts there. Then they get Veil. This card should have been banned. Why does green get a counter spell? That just seems like nonsense. So the problem is here we have to deal with the board and deal with Oko. This is where I like a Sultai variant a little bit more because you can do like um, uh, casualties of war to target a couple things. That's interesting, doing the goose. Um, still think we got to do Oko here. We have an easier time dealing with creatures, of course. Yeah, we're gonna have a hard time, I think, main with Oko. Alright, let's queue up another one. We could, like. The problem is, it's not even quick enough. I'm just gonna give Arena a quick reset. Um, like Unmorty goes too slow, it's a very difficult card to deal with. They have Veil then that they protect as well, and coming down on turn two is very hard for us to interact with, even with the Mystical Disputes. Uh, I might have to change, and let's go for Murderous Riders. Let's get rid of the Mission Briefing. Let's make that change. Uh, so, Gruel Ember Cleave was a little disruptive when I was ranking up. The deck I had the most difficulty with was Simic Flash. Uh, the combination of early counters and uh, like um, disrupt. So, you have early threats that you can then disrupt your opponent. I actually faced the same guy three times in Diamond 1, and he bet me all three times, including like the last game I needed before Mythic. I'll play a couple games with this, and then there's um, there's an Is it deck that I saw that 5-0'd uh, MTGO. Probably give that one a shot as well. Okay, we'll keep this hand. Show me the bird. Once upon a time, find the bird. Okay, it's Gruel. Gruel actually should be a little bit easier of a matchup. They have haste, but we can better deal with uh, their threats. Especially if they're not gonna come out with something So I'll probably take the Spellbreaker because we can interact with it on uh, our opponent's turn. Ooh, Questing Beast and Ember Cleave. So here, let's just take that. We need lands. Well, it's terrible to play against uh, Once Upon a Time, Goose into uh, What's-His-Face. But it is super fun to play yourself. So they'll jam the Questing Beast here is my guess. So we're going to play a game of chicken. If they don't play it out... We 
We just kill this. We do take two damage. I always forget about that. So now we're in a good spot. If they decide not to commit to the board, we just borrower. So I'm going to Mystical Dispute here because it stays live after. Same idea. If they don't commit, I could Chemister's Insight. I might actually just borrow her. Okay, Pelt Collector's fine. So I'm actually going to do this. And then just play out the Brazen Borrower. As long as we keep it so they don't have anything to attach the Ember Cleave to. And now we can start uh, keeping up a clock. Okay, so. I think same as last time. We let the Pelt Collector resolve. We counter this, and then I enter the God Eternals, the Pelt Collector. And just mill the opponent. And then we refill our hand with Insight. So, <clears throat> no surprise, Ember Cleaves is nice. We'll just thin out our deck. That's perfect. Drown in the lock will counter whatever they play. And then we can just Chemister's Insight. Post board, we get all our targeted removal for Gruel. No, thank you. So, when you're not playing against turn two Oko, you can do pretty well. Oh, the opponent is never winning this game. Sorry about that. Arena decided to do its daily crash. Um, opponent conceded on that game. We just sideboarded quickly. I took out the Mystical Disputes and the Thought Erasure on the draw. Uh, brought in Noxious Grasp. And uh, Aether Gust. One thing we need to be mindful of is like Domri's post board. Arena needs to focus less on making, or Wizards needs to focus less on making new formats and more on stabilizing this platform. <clears throat> um, so here, let's just hold up the Aether Gust. This matchup uh, gets a lot harder post board uh, or when they're on the play. So I'm just doing this because it saves a lot of damage coming in. Yeah, cats. The fact that my i7 freezes up because it can't run this, uh, this a fun little software. So when doing this, it holds up Sinister Sabotage if we need. Um, yeah, let's just do this. This sets up our draw. Want to find like a Ritual of Soot here. Um, I'm going to do this because we can... How many cards? They have three. So we effectively have four here that we can deal with. Yorimbra12, thanks for the follow. Um, so here what we do is... I think we Noxious Grasp. And then just counter with Drown in the Lock. 
just grind them out of resources and then go from there. Would have been nicer if we were able to have an untapped source. So I'm going to wait. I want to see what they come out with. If it's Ember Cleave. Okay. So then that's just free value. Make them waste the card. One thing to remember this can't block on the ground. I'm just going to get Ugin going. This will refill our hand. And if they're going to spend resources to kill Ugin, that's fine with me. Actually, they can't. <clears throat> that's cool. You attack it for two. Not the end of the world. Let's see what we get off the top here. Uh, let's go Vantress and just pass the turn. I can lock mirror this turn. So I imagine that's their play. They'll attack in and then we can just lock mirror Serpent. This is actually the first time I've ever been able to cast this card. So let's just block like this, take them off their mana, and they concede. Um, Gruul is with a faster start. They'll typically have um, like hasters, but the double like one drop doesn't really do much in that case. So one and one with the deck. Lost to teamer Oko. Let me give Arena a restart so it doesn't die on us again. I, I want to play this deck a little to get a feel what I like, and then I'm going to switch it up and eventually just add uh, green in it for Seltai. Let's run it through one more, see how it goes. We got to cast the Lockamere. I didn't get to block, attack, anything else with it. So jury's out. There is a, like another variant of this deck where you could play Cavalier of Gales. Uh, Kefnet seems really bad right now. Even Cavalier, like, you pay 5 mana and Oko makes it a 3-3. Like, at least with Teferi, you'd get the, uh, the Brainstorm effect. Alright, opponent, let's go. So I think it goes like up to 99%, then you could go into the top like numbered rate. Okay, so this can be Selesnya Adventures. It could be a couple different decks. This Ritual Sit's gonna be good. I really like cards like this, like just random little cards that generate a ton of value. Uh, so I could, I have a choice here between Murderous Ridering, which I think we do. So the thing is I could sweep it up with um, Ritualist Soot, but they get the card draw off the Lovestruck Beast. So I'm going to do this on their upkeep. Actually, it doesn't really matter when I do it. Because Narset just dies here. So this way it doesn't let them draw a card off it. I want them to spend resources in order to... Like, basically, sorry. Lost my train of thought there. When they're... Drawing a card off every card they play, they're not netting any like loss of resource. So the board wipe, although it delays them a turn, it doesn't take away the cards from their hand. So with the control deck, you typically want to drain them of resources. So 
So the Paradise Druid. So I'm going to go Narset here now. It's one of my favorite things to do, Narset into Narset. So ideally they play Lovestruck Beast here. We can sweep the board. This also saves us some life. There is an option, depending if they don't play Lovestruck, we can just play out this Murderous Rider. Oh, that is actually terrifying. Okay, so new plan, Murderous Rider. I didn't realize these lists were playing, uh... They're just going face. Okay, so we gotta do this now. The one thing is like we'll sweep up their land as well. So it's not the worst. But you know, second, we'll take five this turn. So I can go enter the God Eternals. Actually, isn't too bad here. Or, you know what? Let's just ritual. I could ritual, take them off a of land. Or I could enter the God Eternal. Yeah, let's enter the God Eternals. Take them off a of forest. Getting rid of Rankle is pretty good. So in part, this can block for the turn. Because Nisa's ultimate is still something we'd have it would be threatened by. I can bounce it with Brazen Borrower. So if we draw a land, then I can... Brazen. This could be Rankle. Okay, Murderous Rider. Oh, that's Xaxes. Okay, they got us. Eight damage. Yep. So we could have ritualed, but we took a little bit greedier of a line. On uh, this matchup, the Strokes, the Noxious Grasps, the Aether Gusts. Uh, Cry is interesting. I might want the Spyglass. So Mystical Dispute could come out. The Narsets aren't that good in this matchup. Uh, Aether Gusts, Drown Lock. Thought Erasure is fine on the play. Tyrant Scorn is fine. Brazen Borer feels pretty bad. Doesn't do too much in this matchup. One card to cut. Uh, I don't want to get rid of all our win conditions. Let's just go and Chemister's Insight. Because we eventually need to close out the game. And that's one way you can just lose it. Where they'll just... You keep answering, but they'll keep bringing out threats. I'd imagine this deck also has like Murderous... Uh, I think we got them all. Okay, we'll keep this hand. I'm gonna put the blow blast zone away. I got noxious grasp. Drown in the Lock is a little bit better later game. I wish this was a Tyrant Scorn. Okay, so that's good because it turns on our Drown in the Lock and can also take them off a curve. Uh, so I got Edge Wall, Edge Wall. I 
feels bad to bin that, but we need lines. We're going to get burned on lines, aren't we? See what the opponent does. They did keep a pretty loose hand. Like, as soon as they draw adventure creatures, they kind of refill their hand. I think we just passed the turn here. So I'm just going to take the damage, and then... So we could Drown in the Lock or Noxious Grasp. Drowned eventually gets better. So let's just do that. Drown has the added flexibility, so we could counter something at two mana. So here they'll put a couple on there. You're fit enough to survive. And then we'll just get rid of that. So we can search for something outside the game. That's also okay. If they're just plussing. Okay, so we're gonna kill the rankle. And this is still, we're just trying to grind our opponent out of resources. That's perfect. Actually, we need another, another source. So let's just go like this. We'll see if they search for outside their library. That seems like Arena's gonna die on us. Legion of, or Cavalier Knight. So let's just get rid of this. So it might have made sense to get rid of Vivian. Just play out the two murderous riders. Part of this reason is then we could draw a castle. They can't have it fight this turn, and we can double block it. Actually, we can't. That's fine. We'll take the damage. Okay, they didn't. So I'm just going to Noxious Grasp here. Of course, Veil of Summer. Why not? So we're going to have to take a little bit of damage. We'll draw. And they got Questing Beast. Can't block it. So this they make this six power. The fact that green decks also get this card is silly. Just double block here, gain some life. This is a turn slow. I want to put these back into the library. That's 12. So they put it here, that's seven, five, we block two. See what we can do. And then he's put three counters on this. Opponent's doing a good job of Balancing their threats. Uh, 
Oh, we get it. We get it. Um, what are the chances that's a Veil of Summer? It's definitely a Veil of Summer. Hundred percent veil of summer. Okay, so they can attack in here. I think we need to play two blast zones. And we got Lochness. So what do you do? Sacrifice an island can't be blocked. Sacrifice a swamp, draw a card, exile five cards from opponent's library. So I'm gonna scry on my upkeep. So here, anything they have, like, we don't have an answer regardless really to um, Rankle. We just want to sack a swamp. Let's do that. It gains us a life as well. Okay, double Aether Gust. And a Sabotage. Playing a little risky. Let's just scry here. Okay, I want to try to find a removal spell. Perfect. This incidental life's actually been kind of annoying. So that gets rid of that. You can only activate this anytime you cast the sorcery. Uh, we can Aether Gust this. Arena sounds like it's going to die. Come on, opponent. Come on. We are in a very good spot. Counter whatever they play. That's fine. 
this can't block anyways. Got him. So Lockmere did some work there. Uh, the cries could be reasonable. Take out the spyglass. Run it like that. Do I want any other removal? I think we just need more as much interaction as possible. Let's run it like that. Keep this hand. Beautiful amount of early game interaction. That's actually great, because if they questing beast this turn, I could just noxious grasp. That's actually annoying. Okay, let's just set this back a turn. So that was the one thing we couldn't really deal with. It's tough because you have like these noxious grass, but then they don't deal with uh, the black cards. That's fine. So with this trigger on the stack, we're gonna kill Nisa. So that way, if they have Aether Gust, they can't use it. And then this turn, we Ritualists at them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to do this. And then I got God Eternal for this Rankle. My guess is they force us to discard here. They'll probably want to draw a card as well. Oh, they just go discard. Uh, and do that. Find finality and a questing beast out of the way. I got Ugin as a follow-up if we can drop it. Land, please. Okay, so they got Rankle back. So here, I'll attack in. I'm just gonna try to like run him out of stuff. Okay, so they got Love Struck as well. Seems fairly aggressive. I think. I think we go kill the Rankle here. And then just attack in for two. Actually, I had done that in case they had a Questing Beast, but I forgot I had Noxious Grasp in hand. Okay, 
Okay, so we need to be mindful next turn. So we're going to put... Fortunately, we're short from putting the fourth charge counter on here. Uh, just past the turn here. My guess is they go Rankle. Interesting. The fact they're not going after Ugin has me a little, uh, a tad bit baffled. I'm not really worried about Love Struck. Oh, that's actually very good. 10 cards. We can block on the ground. And then I can always like Aether Gust, Sabotage is good. Um, that's fine. So now they're going after Ugin. So a block like that gets rid of Questing Beast. If we have the removal on board, we take advantage of it. Um, Go to our turn. Murderous Riders, nice card to pick up there. See if they want to block here. Sweet. Just pass the turn. Gonna murder Strider here, drown the locks a little bit better. Sure. This way Ugin can keep ticking up that we can use it as removal. Not really concerned with this having death touch. Okay. Let's go to our turn. No taxes turn. Need him to play out something a little bit more ma meaningful. Should have played Murderous Rider, maybe. Let's counter this. We can also Aether Gust. Okay. Second Murderous Rider is pretty good. That'll set up us up for the following turn. That's fine.
So I just want to tuck this, make them redraw it. Okay, we got stroke. Kind of at a stalemate here. I need to try to find my Liliana or even a Brazen Borrower to go over the top. So I'm gonna do this. We have two ways to deal with Nisa or Questing Beast. We only have the one Brazen Borer. They give up, take it down. So two and one with the deck, not too shabby. 99% on Mythic. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Thanks for everyone who tuned in. Um, you can catch the full replay on YouTube and you can grab the deck list off Aether Hub. Uh, come back with uh, Probably that is it deck that is a control tempo deck that I saw from TGO. That'll be the next video we play. Thanks for tuning in and have yourself a great one.